when you when the ball comes, the guy hits the ball, about to go and hit. Okay, it just sounds so textbook. I hate being textbook. But anyway, um, the guy goes to the ball. Your eyes are watching his swing. You don't watch the ball. They say, oh, watch the ball, watch the ball. Watch his swing first. It gives you a lot about what the ball is coming. If he's running and he's like that, then you you you, you hear right? Because he's running like that, right? But if he's setting up like this, you don't. You know, you set it up like you like like that, right? You know what I mean? So your your position depends on his posture. Okay, so your eyes watching with the split step. Okay, your split step will automatically like. We don't call it split step. Like we it's, we more like. But you know, like your because the way you you, you you know when you go to the gym and you squat. If you have one, two, three triple extension, this boom, this is fast. Okay? Triple extension. Okay? So if you the old school, I think old school is jumping as high as you can. And how many jumps do you make, man? It's too tiring. So this a good squat position is good, but not too low. Okay, you're comfortable, right? And so when he hits the ball, the ball comes. You watch the ball and you go, right? And when you go to the ball, that's the footwork that we did yesterday. So once you get to the ball, right? Well, you got your the first step you take is your your turn, okay? and I'm a righty, so my left hand helps the turn. It's not for some players like that, okay? But normal situation, you would left hand. Um, when you let it go, that depends on some players. Some like to let it go later. Some let it go earlier. Okay, some. See that's why that's like a almost like a style I would say. Okay? If I say to you you must let go when it's here, that's sometimes not all everybody does that. Okay? That's why I like to focus on the contact because contact everybody does something similar. But anyways, don't worry. Okay? So you, 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 this is your turn. Okay? They call it the unit turn with this pivot. I like this pivot okay? because if you can't turn like that, you got to turn that because your hips will turn. Okay. So this pivot, the legs, the pivot helps your hips too. Yeah. Okay. So as you turn, okay, this left hand is here. Some people just do that. Right. This bracket can be lower, higher. Okay. Some like I used to be up here, too big. Okay. But I would say if you just turn, if you're comfortable, that's okay. Some players like to bend more here. Some less bend. Um, some not bend at all because they like to be like from here straight there yeah yeah um no there, there is some um work here from there, there for my beginners i teach them down here straight there but once they get better they want to incorporate a little bit of high low high movement right um <clears throat> it's always good to have a little bit of a circle see um that's where western side is good I love that it's, it's in Chinese so I'm, I'm the middle mm. I can see both sides Chinese is oh the circle mm. what size is the radius mm. does it have to be like this amount of it <laughs> being more specific doesn't mean it's good coaching again I repeat being more specific doesn't mean it's better it just par it just makes the player tight moving on yeah so some people I mean yeah correct me if I'm wrong Small circle. Small circle is good, you know. Small circle. How you small circle is in your own way. Yeah. I want the ball to go in. I'm not too focused about here. Yeah. But anyways, this is technique side. So once you hear, but uh, one thing is when you take that you're running and you can have a stance. This is open, semi open, neutral, closed. This is not closed. This is neutral. Some call it square. Okay? This is closed. If you close, then you must swing open. Okay, cool. That's the snap. Okay, so, so here, um, so they call it multi segment because they got this elbow short lever to long lever. This one is good. Okay. Some like to flick it, like some like to circle it. Try which one that works for you. All right, but don't try five minutes. Try five hours. Okay, because five minutes doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, but on the forehand, whether you do your different stance, you're going to have to open. Then you're going to have to open, okay? rotate to contact, then rotate. 
so I know coach some coaches say you're gonna hit like that and then the ball goes and you rotate out I, I don't, that's a late hit okay um, that would probably that's a defense shot but if you can have if you if you can do it you would probably rotate and then hit okay cool there's a little circle here be more relaxed in the wrist and elbow or else you're gonna get tennis elbow you have tennis elbow and golf elbow okay we'll fix that later okay so here is this one if you can ball loose that's why i have a 450 bracket for shadow as soon as some people tight and they pick that oh then they lose after that they pick up their own racket and hit will be the effect you know so here is loose and relaxed so that you can rotate the contest so you, you also press the legs as you rotate so actually legs first legs rotate contact now here is when all the momentum builds up and transfer to the racket head yeah this is not supposed to be the fastest you know why i know because i used to be like that me injury 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 i know i know your pain so you should be here fastest but on contact now, they say you rotate the contact, right? Whether whatever grip you use, not continental though. Right? Eastern grip, I love guys that use Eastern grip because I can't do it. Oh, I can, but I can't play competitively with it. It's actually not too bad, right? But semi-western is the easiest way to do it. So you can do a pronate, pronation, okay? I like to do the pronation before I bend this. Some players bend it from here already. Too early. Okay? So I yeah, yeah, yeah. And how about this one? This one? This yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. As many kids pick it up, pick this. Yeah. I was correcting a kid up. Yeah. No good. Yeah. So we call this, we say, you know, pat the pat the dog, whatever. You have to be pat like that. No. They'll probably chew your hand off. No. Okay? A palm I'll call this palm down, pointing right back. And you rotate. From here, you got this relaxed. Then the racket will automatically open. You don't need to deliberately do it. They keep teaching it like all of that. But anyway, open. And then from here, you transfer all the energy to the head of the racket for pronation. Okay. So once you hit, you can't you can't stop. You gotta let it keep going. And then this it's just like you're pushing somebody. This. Okay. From here is the grip pressure, which the, they probably can't see in the video. It's really light. So, okay. Is that okay? So we're from here, relax, and then let the energy come through, and then let the racket head take. Pop. Okay. Now, the this pronation, right? When the ball touch the strings, I think pretty much all the players with good ball hands they pronate. Women. Not being, not being sexist. Women just have a weaker wrist, okay? Ladies have weaker wrist. Men have more stronger wrist. So that's why we can we, we can do this more easier. They probably do this a little bit more. Ladies, that's why they like your next racket. And that's okay. Why? Because because they're more like that. Because the racket is square. Your next racket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's no, 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 no big deal. No big deal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, men have more here in the shoulder too. This this is a shoulder movement too. This, right. right? Now I want you to try this. Try try this. Put the elbow in and try the pronate. Try pronate. Try pronate. Try pronate. Yeah. But now put the elbow out. You can pronate further. Right. So that's why your arm should be out as you pronate. Okay. When you finish. When you finish. Elbow pointing to the target. Racket could be on the side here or above your shoulder. If it's higher, then the ball will go above the net higher. Right? Okay. If it's a low ball, then you have to get the racket underneath the ball. And if I get underneath the ball, then I would automatically knee bend. I don't tell people to knee bend just for the sake of it. Okay? And my stance will be neutral stance too. And from here, I have to go low to high. Okay. There's a little bit of push. But if it's a high ball, I'll go across it. I don't need to do too much longer high. I'll go across it. And sometimes I even do side spin on it. Mm, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes you might want to do some funky spin, right? There's a difference between so we're talking technique, right? You take technique here, but there's a difference between on the drop and on the rise. If it's on the drop, you gotta start, you gotta touch the ball below the equator. If it's on the rise, you don't need to get that under the ball too much because the ball's already rising. Okay? That you wouldn't see in the video too much because that's what the players think. Okay? Cool? Alright? So that was some sharing on the forehand. And we will let you guys pound away in a minute. Okay? Just let me get done because I need to show, and show you guys. Okay, cool. Two hands and one hand together, and you'll know why in a little bit because there's going to be some comparison, and then Mark can share some sharing, you know, if I miss anything. So um, let's just say neutral stance. Okay, semi open, open. One handed backhand you can in the emergency. But if it's an emergency after you split, then you, you do the left foot. Because you go left, right, left, right? But you do left foot and turn the backhand, you will pivot back the other foot. And usually they, they stay low because it was the ball's deep. It's an emergency, right? That fast. Um, I really don't like a twist hands, but. If it's that emergency, then fine, okay? Um, One-handed backhand, if it's that emergency, probably you don't have time to lift it all, all the way up. You'll probably just do a tap. Yeah. And Roger Federer does that for a winner. <laughs> it's cha Winner, okay? Oh, <laughs> it, the guy is like oh. amazing. Okay. So, now, if... Uh, for yesterday, uh, double left, by left, and uh, arrow forward. Oh. Djokovic was this alone. Yeah! I didn't That's why I like it. Yeah, Djokovic is an amazing backhand. And use this full work. Okay, okay. He's like a robot. Every time the same. Oh, yeah. He's a uh, white yeah. left, white. Yeah. yeah, it's always the same. So just use it. Okay. Yeah. I don't. That's why I don't like. Uh, I don't like Serena's backhand. But, but I still like Serena in general. So, so, uh, <laughs> I'm, like, no, I'm just joking. 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 But yeah, her, her dress sense is not that great. Yeah? <laughs> And not that it matters to me, but uh, okay. <laughs> see, see, I can tell, I can joke like that. No, I call it. Yeah, that's fantastic. So, um, but the thing is, if you have time, we're talking about if you have time, in the ready position. Now, here is what I want to ask you. Ready position. I don't like my players doing this and that, but they sometimes do it because it takes time. If for two-handed players, I like them be here. Yeah, I, I like them already there because from here. Always forehand grip on the bottom because you can run around, right? If it's backhand, then you will have this grip already and you rotate both hands inwards and release the right hand so that you can have the grip. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this way and rotate my hand this way, right? Whether it is continental or eastern backhand, okay? You don't change the top hand. The top hand is already set. So that's why I don't like place the other. Other, other, and there's just too much to change. But many players do that. I mean, they, if, they, if they're quick enough, then fine. I just don't like it. Maybe because I'm not a true two hander. One hander, hand is up here. This hand, release, and then you rotate this way. Cool. Give you have time, and then you take your first step, the left, the left foot, right? Okay. Is that okay? Eastern backhand grip nowadays. Rarely people use hotel. A lot of people use. I do you use eastern. Yeah. yeah, it's much better, easier to learn, much more support. But make sure you're not late. If you're late, the ball will go to the net. Because the racket base. You have to be early. And that's fine. It's like on the flight, you have to be early. If you're late, it's fine. <laughs> Unless you're Marco Polo. Like, uh, <laughs> 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 I'm still like waiting, still waiting for the singer. That's <laughs> okay, cool. So now. When you turn and you take that, say you do your, your step, okay, your advanced step. The racket should look like that, no one hand up. But it's quite good. It should not, it should not face like this, on the one hand up. Two-handed backhand, yes. Two-handed backhand should not look like this. On the two-handed backhand, if you look like that, that means your grip is wrong. That means your grip is too much. Two-handed backhand should look like this, facing the back fence. Like approximately, but one hand, uh, back hand. If you do this, that means you're not you, you haven't tucked, tucked in enough. Your left hand is not involved. You see all the you see the the one hand, the back hand, the left hand pulls in, and you see.
it's the old, I mean, I can't like mark myself like this. The shoulder is in front. The shoulder is here. Common to both. There's some, there's some, there's some um, equal, and there's some opposite. Okay. Two hand the back hand is here. One hand the back hand is here. But what is equal, both common, is the shoulder. Is here. One hand, two hand the back hand here. One hand the back hand here. See, the shoulder is in front, underneath the chin. Okay, and with the face. Two-handed people bending like this, uh, I like them just to be straight. Yeah. And compact backswing, pa. Yeah. So there and pa. You can do the loop if you want, but once you loop it, you got to come back down anyway. Yeah. So might as well just do a little, little circle. It's almost like a straight line. Little circle and pa. Because they take because they take on the right, right? This footwork is pa. Right? So you've got to change or something with it back. Yeah, I'll say at one point, right? got to be up here to start and then down oh, that's too, that's, yeah that's really big yeah, yeah. really big um, i prefer them to do it less and take it on the right yeah do less and take the ball use the on the right use the power for more opponent. not burr, burr, and yes yeah you know man you know what i mean you know what i mean say that <laughs> so it's like uh, i'm gonna kill you this <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, is easy to wear for the floor as you get in more in more um, up the level, to be these big swings will gonna cost you time. I have a nine year old from Canada that just come for a trip. Man, you hit the ball on the drop like snap. And I said, hey, just try this. Just go this and just do that. Just just there and lift your hand, but yeah. take the ball on the right. So you're like, hmm. And I said, sorry, I don't teach kids tennis. But he's a kid. I only teach you adult tennis. And the kid's like, yeah. So I'm like, yeah. And he's nine. One hour, man. And his dad's like. So happy, and then he's gonna have an extra three hours, and he's fine. Bye bye. Mm. Uh, go back to uh, Canada. Mm. Really good. Mm. So I fix you in that one. I said, don't go back again. How far are you gonna move? How far are you gonna move? You're nine. Nine years old. He was here. Like before I fix it. Before I fix it. He was here. Hit the ball. Was he hit on the drop? Big, big swing. I said, don't don't smack your racket, man. <laughs> how how far are you gonna move? Mm. But obviously they don't teach him because it's always his group. Mm. They, that's why I need private lessons. I said, just just just, just, just do it. And you know what? The kid's got really good hands, but he was not allowed to use his good hands because he keeps moving back. So I would suggest you can do big swing anytime, anytime. It's easy just to take it bigger. <laughs> but to take it on the right, to have the ability, yeah, well, like the yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, you got to train it. So I'll say a little, little circle, and that's it. So go back here. So, but one hander, um, usually we start high, okay? but I have I have the ability to start low too. Yeah. Start low more often than not. Right. Yeah, you gotta prepare for the work. I think that's the easiest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you can do this, you see me, I, I do this one, I do. I'm always here, bah. I'm always trying to time you, okay, if, I, my, if my eyes can handle it. Like I said, you know, your eyes have to watch the ball. I watch the opponent and watch the ball. If the eyes are slow, okay, fine. No, no, no choice. But if you can catch on to the ball, you're going to be here, inside baseline. The baseline is to tell you where the ball lands, not tell you where you cannot carry or cannot go. Yeah. Um, okay, so once you take the backswing and you're down, low ball, okay, um, it's good to know the step in for both backhands. Don't always try to do open sets. They abuse that too. If the foot is here, then we talked about it yesterday, the footwork, yeah? Okay. But now, when it's one-handed backhand, there's not much, not as much shoulder turn. Except on the high ball where you're going across the ball, okay? But on a north, on a, on a hip level, uh, hip shoulder, hip level, there's less turn. But two-handed backhand, there is rotation. Back foot pivot, hip shoulder, okay? So that's the comparison. Um, we're gonna be that much out, not that much. There's gonna be a little bit of flex. Little bit of flex, little bit of flexion. You know, you're the strong Oh, okay. But one hand back hand, no flex. If you flex, you're gonna kill your elbow. Turn. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I slow the ball down and let you have the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. 
we, we, I let you feel it on the rally just now, yeah, before? Because you, you were nice, the backhand was nice actually. You just never practiced it. Yeah. So now you know the backhand, you just have to go, bah, bah, beautiful, very nice. Straight, lock the wrist, and the racket just comes up. Okay? For one hand up. Yeah. Excuse me, uh, can I know? Uh, where is the power of single backhand come from? Uh, double backhand. Wait. Turn, uh, okay, make, make turn. Uh, single behind player. Uh, okay, that's where it goes. Where it goes. It all goes to racket hit. Okay, I've been though. It goes to racket hit. How it come from? Yeah, how it come from? So from the here, from but KG, hang like John, softly. Here. Okay. Because big muscle, you don't need to. Ah! You don't need to do that. Just a little bit because it kicks start, right? Big muscle, ma. Uh -huh. It's like your first gear. Okay. If you kick start it, it's already strong. Right? Okay. So, the, you press, rotate, and then the arm goes, it's already enough power. Okay. okay. And plus, you're taking the ball on the right, so the bracket and the ball collide. Okay. If you're more accurate, there's more power. Okay. It's not from brute force swinging. Okay. Just relax, swing, but a little bit of up. Uh, rotate, turn, press, rotate hips and shoulders, and then you've got, you've got okay. the power. Okay. And if you can swing out, then that's. That's really enough. You don't. You shouldn't need to go past your seventy percent. Okay. Do you agree? If you're always swinging at eighty and ninety, then it's too stressful. Not relaxed rallying. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. Now one hand. Oh, I show you one more. Here. Okay. Right. Um, so we step and we, we do a little bit of a leg press. A little bit, not too much. Don't overdo it. But in Asian culture, when you tell them leg press, they will do the leg press as much as they can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Not, uh, too, not more is better. Aye. When you go to the restaurant, you ask for a napkin, you ask for this one. Aye. No, you ask them for just two, man. Aye. It's enough to wipe your mouth. Aye. You don't need to wipe everything else. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. So here, just a little bit, and if this racket goes, it's already enough. Okay. If you time it, okay. Now the extra power, this shoulder, more single handed and double handed backhand. Very important. This is a deltoid muscle, right? Left hand pulls. If you pull, okay, if you pull, don't pull and wait too long and then go. It has been. It's like elastic. Jump okay. If yeah. you let go and then it just stops. Oh, see. More time, like, uh -huh. Okay? It can't wait too long. So it's like, uh, it's called the um, elastic energy. It's called the uh, stretch shortening cycle. Mm. I'm not. I'm just joking, okay? So, stretch shortening cycle. Okay. Yeah. If you do this on your, all your muscles, when you throw, if you throw, it's like like that, right? Oh, yeah. You don't go wait on oh, wait see, wait five uh, seconds and then throw. Uh, lose all, you lose all the energy, uh, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Stretch shortening cycle. Good. I remember that. So then, and so far, bam. Okay. See. And then you're gonna try in a little bit. Okay. And two hands. Okay. okay. And also, once you do it, there's also one more is. One hand, two hands is pronation on the top hand. Pronation. It's like forehand. Okay. 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 Once you finish, the left hand, elbow here, the right elbow is down. Okay. And away. Pivot. Pivot. Okay. One hand the back hand. If you supinate, that's okay, but if you're going high ball, you're going across. On the low ball, you're going up. What to, what to do for the single behind the shoulder? What to do? Nothing. Just stay. You shouldn't need to move that much. You, you shouldn't need to shrug. Some people shrug. There's a guy in China that was trying to copy my STM stuff, and he's like, and I'm like, dude, you're doing it wrong, and he's just so happy. I'm happy, so it's like so hurt. <laughs> I'm like, I know you're popping me, but you're doing it wrong. Oh, no, like, okay. no, 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 this, this shoulder turn to here. Like back and down, right? <coughs> Left and right. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Um, one hand, this stays. Enough. Yeah, enough. Okay. This focus is here. Focus is here. Yeah? Okay. Two hand back hand. Still focus here, but the left hand will come out. It's just like a four. You can let it go. Yeah, it's just like he's doing. Yeah. Oh. I was about to say point. You can let this do like one hand. Oh. Yeah. The right hand just, just guides on, just glides on. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. In addition to the one, two, three, right? You can build more stuff, right? I mean, but even this with my students, the one, two, and three, and they add the chop, add the chop, chop to it. They 
if you do this consistently, it's very tough for your opponent to return. Anyway, it's tough. It's you know, it's like if you get it in all the time, it's good. Okay. But anyways, so um, you're gonna have the the pause. This is twelve. This is like one and two o'clock, and then you've got the kick at around eleven. Okay. Right. So kick serve is the only serve that you hit with your arm a little bit bent. The flat, they call it bomb, and the slice, arm is straight. Kick serve is the this uh this straightening, okay? And kick serve is more on timing. There's no brute force. You really can't force the kick serve. So you've got to practice your feeling, gan you know. Yeah. Like this is a okay. Yeah, okay. So yeah but anyway, but kick serve you can put here and then practice, right? But um, I teach you all them the slice surface, which is a flexion. Okay. Actually, you do pronation on you do pronation on the on the slice, but you you do it after. So if they got like that cutting flexion, yeah, like what's our job? They pronate once the ball is gone. So you can pronate after the ball is gone, or you can pronate during the hit. Okay. Mm. Know that you can flexion so, okay. and pronation. Okay. You have to have both. Right. Okay. So. Uh, there is many take backs, like I said, you know, textbook will always tell you ready position and stance. I mean, I like to stand more tilted, but really, ultimately, the tilting thing is really for the more tilt you have, the more kick you have. Okay, I mean, um, if you're just doing it for bomb serve, you wouldn't need to go that far. Bomb serve, you've got players trying to serve like that too, right? Okay, okay, mm. so, um, stance. Um, there is this, this, and um, this is platform stairs, pinpoint stairs, and there's some that move their foot here, like Mark. Okay, you do this, but you have to coil your body too, so that when you come back, there's, there's more, there's more snap. Okay, it's good, but what I've done is I've just totally put it in the rack. Okay, so, so for example, like, like racket thing. You don't need to think about this. I'm not saying you should hit all the serves like that, but you can make it simple and just mm. rack it. But but for, for more body serve, you should incorporate more body touch. So legs are responsible for pushing, okay, pushing upwards. Yeah. And you can use your stance and hip rotation and shoulder can rotate more. So you should actually look like that. Okay. Now, do you have to actually do that much? No, you don't have to do that much. Some people get to do that much, like, you know, because like, you look at me now, it doesn't seem like very much, but when you go and do it, you'll be like, whoa, gum, like this much? Like, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. Like, my whole, I'm facing this. But I have to look there, and I'm gonna come back. And back. So, like, you gotta be able to manage it, okay? If you add more and you can't get the ball in, just don't do it. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, not more is better. It's controllable is better. Okay? But I have to tell you because it's in the course. So, so um, whether you move your foot up or not, okay, I would still tell you that you're still going to be able to time the hit. On the surf, it's a wonderful shot. It's bracket head speed at the top, full reach. Okay? Right? And you use all this energy, right? Slow build up. Slow and ba, or you can go ba ba. Okay, there's two types. One's the erotic uh, type. Okay, and then there's one which is the slower type. Okay, up to you. I would suggest do the slow one first. It's more easier on your body. Okay, because the type of serve you hit requires the type of strengthening. So if you can't throw the ball like this. They don't do that type of motion. So it's like, right? I mean, you can do that, but you gotta prepare. Mm. Right? And like you saw that serve down. <laughs> okay? Right? Now, bomb serve still has spin. Still has spin. Just has less spin. Okay? You see all the top players hit A's and A's and A's? It's, it's a spin serve. Mm. It's just a fast spin serve. It's never a flat ball that goes like that. Okay? Okay? Cool? So a good foundation is to build the slicer and then using the slicer, I teach my students, okay, so now your picture is moving that way and so your picture is 
know what I mean? It, they, they know how to, oh, I can transition this and I can learn learn this from that. It's easy to learn. And the slice from the two o'clock, they hit it at 12. Okay, at full, at a bouncer, this arm and this leg, straight line. So now I'm like okay. So if you can reach up. So reach up. Okay. Okay. Cool. Is that good so far? Right. Now the first one, I mean tennis is very fair. It doesn't favor anybody. On the serve, if you do the racket first before the arm, the ball will clear the net. If you do the arm faster than the racket, the ball will hit the net like the other one. Okay? Yeah, pardon, please. Racket first. Uh, uh, not not uh, 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 And not hand holder. Uh, uh, so that's why when Kirk told me, Kirk used to teach the guy coach, uh, uh, the San Francisco coach. Uh, uh, okay, so he would teach us like. High elbow. Yeah, so it's an easier way to stop, like you make your arm slower. Right. And Kirk's a softball from professional softball, uh, baseball, so he can throw one. Yeah. Right. So when he throws, is like he has the throwing one, like you know, throwing action. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And really gonna strengthen. Yeah. Okay. Um, when you serve. Okay, when you take back this, I, I like to do the pendulum with everybody, just right. relax, okay? Um, some do this, or some with the, um, try to be as relaxed as you can be, then save all your effort to the contact, right. okay? Um, that's important, because some like, oh, I don't know, like, too much right. effort. What do you do for, what do you use for ball pressure? Ball, ball toss, pressure. okay. We say it's not a ball toss, you just, straight and release the hand. That's one tip. Okay. Um, I, I, I do this one. Drop in front. Um, um, I and do this. No straight. Mm. Just hold the ball like that and then turn it. And then, oh, oh, this is a good one. I tell them to touch the thigh. Yeah. Mm. I learned this off a client. So I'm also a student. Because if you do this one, there's nowhere else to go. But up. A lot of, a lot of, See? Yeah. A lot of players can't do that. Yes. Lot, you know if they've been doing that yep. for their ball tosses and you try and do yep. that it makes it even worse uh, and I just you know because I've looked at loads of solutions because there's the one where people say oh you know your ball toss should be dropping no further forward than where you're dropping the foot with your, your arm uh, it's, it's, I find it really hard to correct in some way else. Fun, so in addition, there's a few co combination of the combining. Yeah. If they do this long enough, they are good enough to make it work. Cause, yeah. Because this straight line up is, is always going to be there, there, right? Okay. Yeah. I've, I mean, I've done this a lot, so I mean, as non talented as me. Okay. And so now, one another thing, you can try this. So if they're used to being out here, they don't like this. Tell them to do this. Two, three. Now, both those tips combine with the eyes. Check the eyes first. Some clients or students, they look at, the, look at my eyes, they're like, oh, man, I get dizzy doing that. There was a few, I saw their eyes like that, and I'm like, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait. Look, 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 and then throw. If, you, if, you're, if you're looking here, you wouldn't throw the ball there, you would be here. So what's the Check problem the eyes. before? Before they, the eyes is looking at the ball. Following the path of the ball. That's very difficult, man. Okay? Oh. Yes, I'm by myself. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Oh, so good idea. Another idea is contact. Look at where the contact is. And then keep the eye on the contact. And then throw the ball in. Oh. Of course, like you see, mine was off. I've only done one. The more I practice, the more I'll be better. So, you just have to practice. Yeah. They're not going to fix it in five minutes. No, it's, no, 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 yeah, it's, it's really hard to correct. Yeah, take time. Yeah. Tell them it's okay. It's normal to not be able to get it in 10. 
yeah. good process. So, um, and also, um, this really helps. Yeah. Yeah. That. And, um, okay. Um, this and plus they putting the hands together is not easy because you got to time the hand too with the toss. And so that's why I was telling them to go like that, like do this one. Right. So I, they throw the ball, throw the ball first. Right. Throw the ball first and then lift this one. Yeah. It's okay. Did I just lose my ball? Did I just lose my ball? They jump outside. No. Okay, good, good. So, okay, so, so when you do trophy, right, right, you can stand like this. Yeah. It's already because of the rackets, right? It's so comfortable now. You don't have to do all the coiling. What's the difference to the wooden rackets? Wood racket, mukbara. Oh, so you okay. do so much coiling to get the power. Now you, you don't need it. Now you just like it. Bah. Oh. <laughs> we're, so, we're so lucky, you know? Um, the guy that taught me kick sir, that one kick for one, three back surgeries. Yeah, he's a lefty and he uses wood racket and he's kick serve because whoa, he's a national champ. Oh. But back then, wood racket, if he had this racket, his, his kick serve would be amazing. But, anyways, so you can stand like this and trophy, okay, and that's okay. And then, trophy into contact and follow through. You can turn this out for more rotation, right? You need this titanium. You can rotate more, but make sure you can handle it. Like McEnroe, you know McEnroe? Like, uh, and McEnroe was a genius, by the way. Okay? Now, you can stand like this and rotate. That's okay too. You don't have to st st stand tilted. You can still rotate. But you've got to be able to manage and come back. Alright? Okay? The contact is in front, high, and then no, and also and not in front. They call it the cartwheel, the shoulder, for box power. But we're coming from the shoulder. Low, high, low, low. Yeah. Low to high, and then come back. Now, I like the shoulder, the front one to be here, and then you finish with the shoulder in front like that. This hand, and get it out of the way. Okay. But, as you hit, the hand will come in front. And then, so don't go Ooh, there, okay? <laughs> it goes out, in, and out. Right? So uh, what else does that do? Oh, okay, so there's a lot of, a lot about the serve, a lot. So when you um top, okay, the, they say the chest has to face up. But that depends on your flexibility, okay? But if you, if it helps you then it's fine, right? Um this one is important. So when you go here in our minds, our elbow is down. In my mind, my elbow is down. In reality, my elbow might be up here. It's not what you always see on the video mm. when I'm thinking. I think elbow down, but my elbow probably here. And I'm going upwards, my hand side only. Okay? Right? Elbow. Try to go low, but you actually won't get that low. You see? You see the video, you can see it. You can see it, but you can't <clears throat> if the wrist is out, like Becker, but he uses an Eastern door hand grip, if it's continental and you go out, you will come back and bomb it. He'll be a, he'll be a bomb set. <clears throat> if the trophy position, your wrist is in, it'll be more of a spin. Okay? So that's why, <clears throat> you know, Dr. Novak is a very good serve as. Uh, Strength and conditioning person for tennis. I saw his presentation for the serve. Good. So he, I had to talk to him. <clears throat> One of the tips is if you want to fix something, you fix the thing before it hurts. So, for example, if you want to fix trophy, you have to fix this first. So that's why many players do this. You see this? No, not like this, like this. And then when you do this, you come up, you will look like that. You want to fix here. You fix this part here. So if you want to pronate better, then you gotta make sure this is good. This trophy position is very important. Now trophy position, once you go, you gotta make sure you rotate, then the um the, the racket drop. Some people they do this, ah it's supposed to be here. Don't drop too early. You gotta make sure you rotate and then drop. So some players go, ah, that's that's there's no back scratch. Okay. So make sure you hold this straight 
and as this goes to, as soon as it wants to drop, you go to rotate. Wow. So in my thing is like there's a small loop, there's a small loop, and the big loop. Small loop, big loop. So, but the thing is when this goes past 90 degrees, you go to start your rotate. rotate. And when you rotate, this left hand comes in. Left hand don't pull in too early, so like, like that. Then you see some people do that. Right? So left hand hold, last second, so let me go to lap, simple in. Okay, so for example, it's okay, that was a good time. Okay. Yeah. 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 I've seen someone bounce on fence. Uh, uh, I see some YouTube or picture of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the uh, uh, Spain uh, and bounce. Uh, 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 I forget. I can send, share. It's okay. Show me. Show me. Show me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why. Don't worry. Okay. 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 So next thing is when show me the video. Yeah, yeah. When you pronate, you make sure the fingers. When you rotate the contact, rotate. Fingers in, fingers out, that's pony. And, and you guys have to do the pony. You don't have to do the whole motion, just do the soft pony. Right? So, um, it's a good, good serve to have because it's more heavy and you can use less effort. And you pony, then you're more twisting, not throwing, but twisting. So if you're twisting, okay, if you're twisting, then it's easier to cross the net. Okay, it's easier to cross the net. Okay? Yeah, it's easier. Less effort. Always chase less effort. This uh, this technique is called twisting. It, it's more twisting. It's pronation. It's, it's, it's pronation. Yeah, pronation is twisting. Just saying yeah. the motion it's, is like it's, it's more oh. twisting than throwing. More twisting than throwing. Oh. Yeah, okay. 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 Um, and that pretty much gives a good coverage on the whole thing. Um, but make sure everything happens at the top. Oh, you can you can you can reach up, but don't jump. Reach up as much as you can. That like you will probably push off with your legs. So you know what I mean, you'll naturally jump, but you don't deliberately jump. So um, also one last thing, you will start if you can pull up. So the top surface pull up, but the weight back. This will help the top too. Take everything and take a deep breath, and then one movement. Go. Like that. So that was a bad demo. Bad demo. Because the hand went too fast. Back and head more. So this one. And. You know what I mean? Like, this should be. You know, like that. Kind of, yeah. It shouldn't be that stressed. Mm. Okay? There's many more, but let's get these already. This is already a lot already. Nice work. Now it's serve time for you guys. Enjoy it. Yeah. 